So, cast your mind back to this time last year, June 22. We took you guys to the uh, the Van Life Festival in uh, Stratford, and uh, you might remember us saying that uh, Van Life was going to be a big part of our future plans. Well, fast forward a year, we're back at the Van Life Festival. This year we're in uh, Shrewsbury, and there's a good reason why, because in about four to five weeks' time we pick up our van and we start our own van life journey. So we're here today to uh, pick up some last minute hints, tips, ideas, advice, whatever we can get so we can uh, use it on our own van build. We're gonna meet some, some people you might know if you uh, follow a lot of van lifers on YouTube and uh, we're gonna check out a lot of different vans. There's a lot of diff different ones here. We've got uh, sprinters, transits, we've got so self-converted builds, we've got coach builds, we've got buses. We're going to check them all out. So uh, let's go, let's have a look. Gorgeous uh, converted airstream, all done in wood, really nice. Never seen one like that before. So many more stalls and things here this year. It's nicely laid out. I think Damo and Seaman have done a great job this year. Why don't we switch this one over?
you don't fancy converting your own, a few options. Just buy one and uh, get yourself straight on the road. Who doesn't like a bit of blue in their van? Victron, one of the most popular uh, power sources and systems. Some good prices as well. Check them out. fly screen for the side door. Great idea. Let's look into that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Not too bad, thanks. Feel free to climb in, have a look around. Thank you. Converted ambulance? Yeah, so Ooh. St. John's one. Watch your head as you get in. Just okay. There. Oh, right, okay, drop down bed. Yeah, drop down bed. Okay. St. John's ambulance based on Great Lane Street in London. Okay. Super well looked after, super, super gentle life. Um, just a really good sort of base vehicle to start with three or four doors on. Um, and then the whole sort of ethos of the build is longevity. So even down to like the floor is completely waterproof, so it's never going to swell, never going to warp. <coughs> um, solid fixtures and fittings, all the household stuff apart from the oven and the fridge. Everything else is sort of designed to go in the house and last a long time. Um, 400 watt solar on the roof, full of roof terrace with composite decking. Everything you need. Everything you need. All sorts of lighting all on different circuits so you can turn the lights on off. <laughs> completely overhauled the vehicle itself, so gone through mechanically, it's completely all done. Um, then fully repainted the whole thing, um, replaced all the parts that on Mercedes go a bit rusty, like the doors, the wings, as they get older, they do go rusty, so all that's been completely replaced. Um, and then under sealed the whole vehicle. You've got three ledge batteries on the other side, side and all the batteries and all the, all the stuff that you need over there, and then you've got regular access to sort of all the fuse board, all the stuff. Yeah might need to gain access to. Um, 100 litres of fresh water, 80 litres of grey, 80 litre gas tank, 
Wow. Structural rails on the top so you can fit a top box if you wanted. Okay. So say you're going around Europe for six months. Yeah, yeah. You put your warm weather clothes up there when you're cold and then when you go somewhere cold, you put your cold weather clothes up there so you're not taking up all the space inside. Yeah. Um, there'll be a composting toilet going into the bathroom, but it'll be a removable one. Yep. So you can utilize that space for whatever you want really. So you can turn that into a wardrobe, you can turn it into a, just have a big bathroom. You can, <laughs> the world is your oyster yeah. thing. So. Versatile. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, versatility. Yeah. Um, and yeah, longevity as well. So yeah, heaven forbid something goes on with the vehicle. Take the box off, put it on anyone. It's 12 bolts. It comes straight off. Brilliant. <laughs> so, and that's structural, so if someone does go at the back end of you, yep. their car's knackered. <laughs> the van isn't. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a nice step. So you might recognise this fan, Butte, if you uh, follow James and Dawn on uh, YouTube. Recently put their uh, van on sale. Hey, come here. So we'll uh, have a quick look. Going, guys, Just, double bed at the back. King bed, yeah, king bed at the back. Lovely twin shower, composting toilet. A nice Belfast sink and a uh, block top. Induction hob. There's no gas on this at all. It's all electric. A sofa there which can also convert into a double bed. Swivel seats. Nice little place to work. So if you uh, don't fancy making converting your own van and you want one that's proven its uh, capability then uh, check this out just come back from uh, Cyprus and Turkey so it's well used well traveled definitely proved it's worth <laughs> tires are only a week old they actually fit got them fitted uh, midway tires which is about two minutes from where we live beautiful van 360 degree cameras as well very secure if you're interested, go on Quirky Campers and it's on there. Roman Radfords. <laughs> yep. Lovely big uh, Contiki they've got there. There's Andy and Lindsay. Hi. Our oh, Van Tails. Met these guys last year. Lovely van. It's a beautiful sprinter. Big buses around this year. Uh, 
quite popular conversions because of the space. Absolutely massive inside. This one's for sale. Yeah. Oh, four edge. There we go. There's a Instagram on there. You can have a look in yeah. if you want to have a look Lovely. in. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh. Let's cut it. There's a space you can get in here. Absolutely lovely. So we've got bunks at the back. Lovely big kitchen. Is that wood burning stove there? Wood burner. Gas hob. Nice little sofa. Very roomy. My oh, ceilings, I do like these ceilings. Nice little peaceful place to be. Look. Zappy. <laughs> really nice. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to fall out of the van today, I know I will. So if you're interested in a bus, inverted bus, really nice inside, uh, check that one out. There's loads of buses here to, uh, to choose from. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, thank you. Another bus for sale. Watch your head get in. Thank you. <laughs> Bye me. So a bit low as you come in, but uh, that's a lovely, lovely bathroom. Look at that. Nice, uh, nice green tiles. I like that. Really nice. Again, really roomy inside. Amazing how much room you get in these, uh, these buses. I'm guessing the bed comes out. And go this way, get a full length bed over the seating area. Another lovely tiling again. Fridge, oven, hot. It's like we're on a house again. Really nice. Yeah. So that was really nice inside. That's uh, Trish and Ollie. Put the uh, link below, you can check them out. Lovely sprinter. Very nice. Mario the Shih Tzu. Lovely design on that. Stay around the other side, shall we? Yeah, we'll back to A few coach builds. Yeah, I can see it. Adria twin. A nice layout. I do like the Adrias. It's a 640. Converted the horse box. Very nice. Made out of old furniture and bits and bobs and recycled and upcycled and that. 
and yeah, we've been in about a year and a half now. Hi. Hiya. Well, it's so, yeah. hardest, isn't it? It is. It, um, like, yeah, we've got obviously the glass fronted library because who doesn't have a library in their van? <laughs> Yeah, it's perfect for us. We absolutely love it. And it's all made out of uh, recycled, Basically, reclaimed. Basically, yeah, recycled, reclaimed, or like bits of my old furniture. Um, there's up there, after my mum passed, we went and cleared her house, and I got my old childhood desk and my mum's <laughs> headboard. And so, like, it means that that bit of wood there, I used to hang my Probably Christmas good. stocking on. And this year, Oakley hung his Christmas stocking on there. And it means it just, something, doesn't it's it? It's like really touching, you yeah, know? Yeah, really nice, yeah. Really nice. Part of home. So proper yeah, home, proper yeah, home, that's it, it, yeah, yeah. really homely. Oh, it's lovely. Nice, no well, thank worries. Thank you very much. It's a great idea if you want uh, something to put in your van for a fun day out. Inflatable kayaks. They go down into the size of a backpack, so might be worth an idea. Colourful ones there. Well done, yeah. Very pink. Nice old Volkswagen. Thank job on that. <laughs> so he's had a little bit of a situation with a bird up a tree while eating dinner. <laughs> hang around last night for the jam you might have heard this one already
And if you want something even bigger still, size of this. Let's take a look. I dare not go in, I've been walking around barefooted all day. <laughs> Six in the bus. Full time bus life. I mean, that's a big old bus. A swing as well. Thank you very much. Have a look. Probably the most sturdier steps I've been up today. What it's like inside. It's full size bed. Nice little dining area. Very nice, isn't it? Hmm. Just toilet inside there. Low ceiling. What a capable off-roader. That's the one for you. No. That sheds that had the. Oh! Have you got that? No, we're looking to build um, in about five weeks. I'm going on holiday and then come back and get a van. Oh, wow. Have you got any idea yet? Pretty square, these ambulances again. It really makes a layout quite easier. A lot easier, but. What, you mean a, a van, a van derived oh. transit? Like a van van? Yeah, long wheelbase. Oh, yeah. Um, really nice. <laughs> but yeah, cool solid at the back. Buddy, you right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. A few ideas then. Yeah. yeah, just a few last minute ideas before we get by hours and then. Um, yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. Are you um, planning to have any gas? No, we're going all electric. Yeah. 
Yeah. Was, uh, that would be my advice yeah. these days. Yeah. It's getting so good now. Yeah, Lithium definitely. batteries and big solar. It's about a third or fourth ambulance we've seen, so they're quite popular actually. Converted by uh, an 11 year old. <laughs> I'm sure he had plenty of help, but it's absolutely beautiful. Coca Cola, then. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't get, get very, very fast. Yeah. Speed, bit, bit like ours when we got here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We looked in this van last year, met these guys at um, Stratford. Really nice van inside. In fact, we're, uh, we're getting the bubble van heater like they actually suggested. So.
Cheers. <laughs> That's a pretty cool paint job. Isn't it? Alright. Cheers. Pretty cool. Okay. Something a little on the smaller side. This may be ideal. Small, but everything you need. Um, can you really like the the book? No. When you thought they couldn't get any smaller, check this out, micro camper, a smart car. Peugeot Boxer. What about Jolly Beats? Mark from uh, Wake and Nomad. It's the guard dog. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, that's really nice. Nicely finished. Has it got nice thin work? Yeah, nice thin butcher box worked up, nice lightweight. Fridge under there. Thetford oven. Twin gas, Thetford pop. Looks like a king bed. Anyway, mate, nice man. So the nature's head uh, toilet in there as well. Nice. Got a light in here with the skylight. Yeah. Really nice. Nice layout.
finish on this is absolutely stunning. The U shape sofa bed area. Toilet underneath there. Toilet. Come down. Oh. Shower here, which I missed. Very nice. Definitely one, one of the better finishes. We sit down there on a van. Really nice. from us from the West Midlands showground that was the Van Life Festival I uh, hope you enjoyed that as much as we did Been a brilliant day met some lovely people and uh, giving us some great ideas for our van build so that will be coming to the channel very soon so if you'd like to see us building for one for a, one for a better word uh, or converting our van don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it we've got a couple of trips to do first and then uh, and we'll start putting those videos up so it's like subscribe and we will see you in the next one see you later